Hey guys, this is Lori with Elm's Crafty Creations and I have a new album review and tutorial for you. This project was completed using the contents of the February Craftology box from CountryCraftCreations.com. The collection is called Memory Lane by Photoplay and it's one of my favorites and actually Tamara had sent me this collection back in December and I started this album at that time and when the review of the new Craftology box contents came out I was excited because I was like hey I already have an album done so I'll probably um, do so now I have more of this paper I'll probably do a smaller project with it as well um, but what I've done here is I've used my Bow Bunny glitter paste that y'all know that I love to use. I've used it several times around the edges here to give it that sparkle. I just thought that this collection went with um, gold accents and so I've used that throughout the album. So right here I've used the three flowers that came with the collection and then I've cut into the pattern paper here to make a pocket and then what I did is I, I cut right here and right here and then I folded that piece down to make it a double edge to make it stronger and then I added my glitter paste all around here and then I just have two of the cut aparts from the collection tucked inside this little area here and I thought that that turned out really cute here is the spine and again I used glitter paste and then Throughout the album you'll see that I used gold stickles all around the pages and then I put this sticker from the collection on the back and there is the back again it has gold stickles all around it. So to create this album I used a little bit more paper that, um, than what comes with the Craftology box. So I had 15 sheets of paper to work with and you're gonna have I think it comes with 12 the collection does so to supplement I would just use you know three sheets of solid color cardstock and you're gonna be just fine so you will see where I pieced um, paper together throughout this album and that's that was to save on paper so what I've done is I have a, a double stacked pocket here right here and this is a um, a piece of ephemera I believe that I cut around and then again all of my pages I have went around everything with gold stickles and I think you can see that so this album took quite a bit of time to make because of the drying time involved so I just have some extra stickers in the pocket you know I like to put stickers in my photos sometimes so I left those in this pocket this is a cut apart and I use some of the enamel dots that came with the add-on kit and then I also used I had it right here this also came with the add-on kit and I loved it I love the wood grain type paper so I've used that on my booklets that I created throughout the book you know that I love booklets so this is just some cardstock that I supplemented this little area came out from this and um, I just used some seam binding there so it's blank on the inside so here I just made a little see-through pocket and added some gold dot acetate and on the inside I just have one little small photo mat and I made them to look kind of like Polaroids so I thought that was cute and then a piece of ephemera there and then you would put your photo on the back there as well and then on the other side I have this booklet so I've added a, some seam binding that I had in my stash and then I added this charm that came in the kit with some enamel dots and a sticker again you see where I layered the papers this opens up and again more layering to stretch my cardstock and then this is just a um, waterfall I really won't tie it because there's not paper on the the rest of the flaps because y'all know that's how I do my waterfalls so I have a cut apart from the collection here and some extra scrap of pattern paper and some enamel dots right there again another um, cute charm and then this closes up with the seam binding and then on the other side 
the pages are, there's about two page designs and then there's a centerfold that looks different too. So here I have a sticker from the collection um, and I did these photo mats the same. You know, a piece of ephemera there and the back just some pattern paper. On the inside I did the booklets, used the cut apart with some enamel dots and I left them all blank on the inside but I just love this paper here, it's just gorgeous. There are pockets on the side, but I didn't put anything in them because this album has so much. I counted, and the way I decorated it with all the booklets and everything, it'll hold 75 photos. So I have a large space here, little butterfly, some enamel dots, again, a sticker, a photo mat that I've done up, use the enamel dots and that cute wood grain paper, and then a sticker, and then here another booklet, and it's blank on the inside, and then just that cute paper right there. Flip this over, and actually, this was a mistake. There should be a magnet right here, and I forgot, so I didn't add anything. I just left it that way. So I've did I've done some place photo here, um, place mats to also stretch my paper. I've done the use the envelope notch in my punch board. And then I have just a couple of photo mats here, just plain. I supplemented some brown cardstock. And I am using the um, green cardstock from Tamara's store, the artisan cardstock, and it's beautiful. So there is the inside there. I don't know if you can tell all of the gold. And then this also flips out this way. And you have two more large spaces for photos. So those are the two page styles. And so here, again, stickers. I've done up the photo mat there, and then here I have another booklet plain on the inside. Whoops. Come on. And then flip it over. Again, to save on paper, I used scraps and did a little layout here, some enamel dots, a sticker. Here was another tag that came with it that I backed it on that green cardstock. Again, used enamel dots and some seam binding. This was a um, cut apart from the collection and I added, added the dots again. I just love the enamel dots. And then the booklet, this one is just plain with that wood grain paper on the outside of it. And then this page flips and here's the center of the album. So you have your two corner pockets and the way I I layered paper here, like I cut strips and stuck it right here, right next to each other. Also again, to save on paper for the album. And I have a four by four cut apart here where I've added a sticker, some enamel dots. I have a plain booklet. And then on this side, another cut apart, some dots, again, more, and a booklet that's plain on the inside. Here I have a tag from the ephemera pack. I backed on that green cardstock again. There is another booklet on this side pocket. And then flip it over. And then I have a photo mat here that I've decorated. And then there's the back. Whoops. Another sticker right there. Booklet sticker that's left open so you could put your photo behind it. And then here another piece of um, ephemera I've backed on cardstock and then just two plain and simple photo mats right there. These are four and a quarter by six and a quarter and the smaller ones, I'll show you those in a minute. So again I've layered the strips of paper here you'll notice to stretch it. So a sticker and then this one opens up this way you have two large spaces. And then again, flip it, and this time I remembered my magnet. These photo mats are like five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And there's the back. I love that stripe paper. And then I have two stickers down here, and then a booklet right here. And then this is magnetized and flips open, and I forgot to take that picture out. There's me and my dog. Um, so I did a photo mat there, some, whatchamacallit, stickers, 
um, piece of ephemera here. Again, another photo mat that I've decorated. Really cute. And again, the plain booklet on the inside. And that closes shut. Did I remember everything? Yes. So then a, this was, I think, a sticker or from the ephemera pack. I can't remember. And then I just have two plain photo mats again. And then I have a booklet. Um, this one I did like an accordion fold and just added two strips of paper. And it folds out this way. And then you can put photos in the back as well. I thought that was cute. I like that paper peeking up. So that's it. That's my uh, photo play memory lane album. I thought it turned out really cute. I just wish I would have remembered that magnet right there, but that's okay. And so let's go into the tutorial right now and I'll show you how I created it. So it's really simple. As you saw, there were two page styles and I've made them a bit differently. So let me get out my measurements so I can tell you as I go. Here they are. And let's start with the base pages. And let's see. I don't want to get everything out of order so I don't confuse myself, which we all know it happens. So this, and then this. Okay, so for the base pages, um, I've mixed my cardstock just because to make some of the pages, I was using eight and a half by 11 cardstock at first to cut my pages, but for some of them you need full 12 by 12 sheets. So this is cut to 7 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 eighths. And then you score on the 11 and 3 eighth inch side at 5 and 3 quarters. Yeah, what's that measurement for? Okay, sorry, I don't know. Oh, that's this page, I think. Okay, sorry. So, so you fold on that score line and the opening goes this way. So there's that page. Let me just grab my ruler quick and measure that. And of course it's not, here it is. And then, Yes, this is five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So that is what that measurement is. I am clumsy today. Just dropped my ruler. So what you're gonna do first is you flip over this piece to the back and that's where you're gonna attach this piece. So go ahead and fold on your score lines. And then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'm going to add glue to both sides because I like to stick it all down at one time. And it should line up just perfectly at the top and the bottom. And this will be your binding pocket. So there we go. There's our base page. Now flip it back over to the front and we're going to work on this section. So the first thing you're going to want to do is the pockets. And these are done a little bit different. So you'll notice that this page is a little bit, the front first flap is a little bit shorter than this flap. There's a reason for that because what we're going to do is we're going to cut this pocket to um, eight and three quarters by nine inches. You're going to score on the nine inch side at four and a half and then score on the eight and three quarter inch side at half an inch on each end. So go ahead and fold on your score lines 
or at least the middle one. And then we're going to take our scissors and I knew I was going to need a pencil. I want to show y'all that this is my score line going down and I can't draw a straight line and I'm going to cut little triangles on either side of the score line. So you can see that. I'm going to cut right up but not go over the score line in for the hinge on each side and take that piece out. I'm going to do the same for the opposite side. Cut and cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold on these hinges. So fold them all in. And get a good crease. And then I'm going to fold on these as well. Make sure you crease it really well. And then this is going to be the pocket and how this works is you're going to stick this over here like this. I'm going to make sure it lines up perfectly top and bottom. Okay. So once you have it all lined up to where it's even down here and then it's even up here, hold this down, lift this part up. I like to flip mine around like this and then I'm going to add my glue right here first. And I'm going to take this one and flip it down and glue it. And just make sure you get everything even. Okay, now you're going to flip it open this way and you're going to glue these down. And this creates your two pockets, one on each side with just one piece of cardstock. And I think that's just the coolest. <laughs> Isn't that dumb? I just think it's so easy. So that way I don't have to do two separate pockets. And there you go. So pocket here, pocket here. Then I created two smaller pockets, one to go on each side. So you're going to cut these at five and a half by four and a half, you're going to score on the four and a half inch side at half an inch and then on the five and a half inch side at half an inch on each end. And then miter the corners. I'm going to do that to both. So at the same size. Oops. This cardstock is cheap cardstock, so it doesn't score as well. So I have to make sure I'm getting on the correct score lines. Now what I did is I also punched notches in these using my envelope punch board because I like the way it looks. So you could do that and just make sure you measure here in the middle and figure out um, what the middle number is. I don't remember what it is now that I've, it's been a while since I've done these. And then you just use that and line it up with your envelope notch and punch it. So here I'm going to add my glue. And I'm going to stick this down right on the flap. And I always get glue everywhere I shouldn't. But it doesn't matter because it's all going to be covered up as long as you don't stick your pages together. And then you're going to flip this over and put the other one on this side. Just 
just like this. Super easy album. Okay. So now we're going to flip this over. And on the other side, you're going to do what I call the accordion fold. You're going to cut one piece of cardstock to 11 and a half inches by 7 and 3 quarter inches. You're going to score on the 11 and a half inch side at 5 and a quarter inch, and also, which it would go this way, 5 and a quarter inch, and then at 11 inches. So then go ahead and miter your corners here. And I'm going to flip this over. And this, you're going to put glue on the inside of the hinge. And it's going to tuck inside this page here inside the base page. Okay. So then you have where it folds this way and then it also folds this way as well. And then I put a pocket here so this larger pocket is cut to six and a quarter by four and a half. Score on the four and a half inch side at half an inch. And then on the six and a half inch side at half an inch on each end. And then miter your corners and fold on your score lines. And you're going to just add this pocket right to the top. Of the first flap, or however you want to call it, the first fold. And that's it for the two page styles. So, what I've done for the corner pocket, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I went ahead and created a second base page so you can see that this would be page number two and this is the same as we did here. And it opens up this way and you have a pocket here and a pocket here again. So then when you flip this over, you'll have this page and then another page on this side and you'll put the corner pockets there. So cut your corner pocket at where did it go? Oh, sorry. Six and three quarters by six and three quarters. Score on all four sides at half an inch. And then you're going to cut this in half diagonally. I've shown y'all how to do this many a time. So I'm going to take my trimmer here. I'm going to put it in here. And I'm going to line up the corners and slice it diagonally. And the more accurate you are with this, the better. And there's my two pieces. So I'm only going to need one because I only created one base page, but you're going to do one over here and then one on what would be this page right here. So I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to miter my corner at the bottom, and then I'm going to fold all my score lines. And then I'm going to cut off what I call my wings that are left over, like that. And then this is what you glue down right here. And sometimes I have to trim this edge off, it like hangs over a bit, and I just give it a little snip, that's what I do, so it's flush with the page. So it's just like the tiniest of pieces that I cut off, if you can even see that. So then I'm going to add my glue. And stick this down here. And then 
you will have your other base page and you will add the other corner pocket on the other side. Okay, so super simple. There's those two pages. So I wanted to also show you how to do the stacked pockets. They're really easy. So to do the stacked pockets on the cover, you're going to cut two pieces at three inches by eight and three quarter inches and you're going to score on the three inch side at half an inch and then on the eight and three quarter inch side at half an inch on each end for both pockets. You're going to miter both pockets just like you always do. Okay, fold on your score lines. And this one actually you don't fold on. This half one you don't fold on. I almost made a mistake. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue this one to the cover right here. You can see it's exactly the same size as the one I have there. Let me take this out so I can show you guys. And then you're going to take your second one and once this one's glued down you're going to put glue right here and here and you're going to stick it on the inside of this one right up to the score line and glue it down. So there you have your stacked pockets. So I wanted to show you all that in case, I know I've shown it to you a million times before, but you know, maybe there's somebody new. Okay, now we're going to do the booklet that goes on the front cover right here. It has a little acetate window and then the waterfall feature on the back. So you're going to want to cut one piece at six and a half by seven and three quarters. You're going to score on the six and a half inch side at three quarters of an inch. I gave you just a little bit more room to attach this to your cover. Um, that's why I did the three quarters of an inch. Then you're going to cut one pocket to five and a half inches by eight and three quarters. Score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch and then on the eight and three quarter inch side at half an inch on each end. Now fold on all of your score lines. Now if you want to add the acetate window, you would do it after you add, before you attach it to here and after you add the pattern paper. So what I did here is I added my pattern paper to my pocket and then I took, um, I think it was like a Sizzix label die one of the smaller ones and I put it on here where I wanted it and ran it through my die cut machine and then on the opposite side I added tape all around the label area and then cut my acetate to fit here and I think it turned out cute. It adds a little something extra to the album. It gives you a little something um, different to look at at the beginning. So that's how I did that but I'm going to go ahead and add this one because I'm not going to do that during the t during the tutorial. So here we go. And you're going to add this just a little bit away from the score line. And there's my pocket. Okay, so now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to add my little waterfall feature here. So let's start with the flaps first. You're going to cut two flaps to five and an eighth by seven and three quarters. You're going to score on the five and one eighth of an inch side at half an inch and then also at five eighths of an inch for each piece. And then go ahead and fold on both of those score lines for each piece. I like to do the 5 eighths of an in inch one first because somehow it's easier for me to then maneuver into that half an inch one to give you that eighth of an inch gusset we're looking for. 
which is, it should look like that. So we'll do two of those. Okay, now, so again, you should have your little gusset there. So add glue to one part on the back of the hinge. And then you're going to attach one on the um, left hand side of the piece. Do not glue your eighth of an inch gusset down. That should stand free. And then attach the other one to the right hand side. Oops. Again, you want to stay away from the score line of this flap here. You can even fold it under to make sure that you're not getting it on there at all. Okay, then I'm going to open up both of those flaps. So I closed mine, I believe, like this, and I added a seam binding closure here. You can do magnets or swing tabs or whatever you like. So we're going to open that up and then we're going to add our waterfall flaps. I did seven flaps at five and a quarter by four and three quarters and then you score on the four and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch. So, and I added them directly onto this piece. I'm going to go ahead and fold on all of the score lines. should be seven. And I'm going to start, I'm going to flip this around so technically it's upside down. I'm going to add my glue to the first one and I'm going to center it on the page. So you should have, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch on each side of the flap. So what you, what I would do, what I did do, is I put my pattern paper down first before I glued this down. Yeah, you should have about a quarter of an inch on each side. So if you've already glued this first one down, no worries, go ahead and add your pattern paper. At least I think I did. Double seam binding. I'm going to tighten to a knot in a minute. Um, yeah, I did. I added my pattern paper before I glued these down, so um, I would suggest doing that So, because that way just a little bit of it's going to show on the edges. And I even brought it down. I didn't put it at the very top of the page. I brought it down some. So it made it even with the, so just a little bit of the border of the paper showed all the way around. But we're going to go ahead and continue this and you're going to do it like a waterfall. Go ahead and add your next one right underneath the flap of the last one. And lift it up and I'm going to go ahead and flip it back this way and keep going. I'm sure most of you have done waterfalls before, but I always like to just continue and follow through just in case there's someone on my channel who is new to mini album making. So you add your glue and place it right underneath, butting it up against that last hinge, but not going over it. Three more to go. Just keep going. And there 
you go. And there is the waterfall. And then this closes shut and you should have these little gussets on the side so that when you add your photos it gives it a little room even though the seam binding closure also helps um, but it just helps give the cardstock a little bit of room um, so it doesn't bow so badly when you put your photos because it's too full. And then you're going to take this entire page assembly and you're going to add it right here on the inside before you put down your pockets. And there it is. Whoops. And that's it, I think. I think I've told you everything. I did mention that these little cute Polaroid photo mats are five and a quarter by four and a quarter, so you can make those if you like. My booklets were cut to six and a quarter by eight and a half and then scored on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. In case you're not familiar with how to make those. And I think everything else I've shown you. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the book and I hope you make one. If you do, visit um, the Scrapgers of Country Craft Creations Facebook page and post your projects there. And you can also post them on my page. It's LM's Crafty Creations on Facebook as well. And I would love to hear from you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.